Hello everyone, welcome to LSCF Podcast Today I have a very very interesting and special guest Used to be my classmate And she inspired me a lot because of her ACCA journey Welcome Ananya uh, I'm, I just like to mention that uh, for those who want to join the ACCA, you can join while you're doing your uh, grade 11 and 12. Yeah, right? Like Ananya. Ananya also entered ACCA after her IGCIC and then she also continued her 11 and 12 mm-hmm. to finish her high school. So, Ananya, uh, what do you like the most? Uh, about ACA, ACCA, what module you like the most? Uh, so I guess it has to be financial management okay. um, because I really enjoyed a lot of the aspects of finance and delving, um, you know, in depth into financial markets. Oh God! So, <laughs> yeah, and I also want to pursue a career related to that in future, probably okay. as a financial advisor. But as you know, future is unpredictable and yeah. ambitions are constantly changing. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, I also enjoyed financial reporting. Uh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, I remember uh, that financial reporting was one of the subjects that I found a lot of difficulty, you know, coping like and passing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I heard about that. <laughs> yeah. So uh, for those who don't know, uh, I passed financial reporting on my second attempt. Um, the first attempt. Uh, yeah, it, it didn't go so well because uh, I, I mean, I found it quite difficult. But the second attempt, uh, yeah, it was a very funny story. So I remember, uh, yeah, I tried studying on my own for quite a long time and I realized it didn't work <laughs> out. And four days before the exam, I reached out to Sir Viraj to please help me with it. And uh, yeah, and LSAF was so kind even then, even though I wasn't a very regular student at that yeah. point of time. LSA was really kind to also help me during that ti- period of yeah. time also. And within four days, Sir Viraj expertly covered all wow. the entire syllabus <laughs> for me. And yeah, today I say that it's because of him I passed that module. <laughs> so yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand yeah. that yeah. struggle because yeah. I just did my FR exam yeah. on June. All the best. So it's like... Let's hope for the best. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but... You entered the ACCA journey when you were so young, mm. like 16, right? Yeah. What do your parents think about you entering this uh, young? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm actually very grateful because my parents always gave me the freedom to explore and like push my boundaries. So that's one thing I'm very grateful for even for today but as parents obviously as you said they have their own apprehensions yeah. and they'll have their own concerns right yeah because this is not the conventional method of um, schooling but one amazing thing that you can do is uh, LSAF I, I remember offered you know Saturday classes I think they still do right? yeah they, still. Yeah, they very much do yeah So uh, pursuing your A-levels and AS-levels, like your 11th and 12th, with your ACCA is very much doable. And my parents looking at ACCA, looking at LSAF, they were very impressed because of uh, the dedication that they had to teaching their students. (laughs) So um, that's, that's something that my parents were, my parents always encouraged me. And yeah, it was a struggle, but with their constant motivation and support, it was very yeah. much possible. So. I mean, from the parents and the support from the teachers is also needed, right? Yeah. And the teacher very is much. very contactable and through exactly. WhatsApp and all yeah, that yeah. stuff. Very reachable, very, yeah. very, uh, very helpful and okay. very supportive. So that's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For those who haven't joined, I'll say I've joined now. <laughs> Okay, so what's your future plan after the ACCA journey? Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, like through, uh, you know, ACCA, I've realized that, you know, something in finance for sure, through financial management. When I did the financial management module, I realized, yeah, something along those lines. But again, you never know what, you know, the future has in store for you. But yeah, I, I always believe that even though the future is very unpredictable, it's the choices that you make now. Wow. It's what that defines your future. Wow. So ACC is a choice I made and I will never regret for life, for sure. So. That's a very great <laughs> word right there. <that. laughs> 
That's why I called her inspiration, guys. <laughs> She's too kind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys know we are classmates now, uh, and I know that she loves dancing, you guys. But what is the connection between dancing and this ACCA? ACCA gives you skills, yeah, whatever you true. need for the real life world, right? How to like survive there, how to like build a good career. Yeah. ACCA helps you in all of that because number one, it's very comprehensive. It covers a lot of aspects of finance, a lot of fa- aspects of accounting, right? You yeah. have financial management, tax, audit, research, everything. Yes. So um, it covers all of those aspects. And at the same time, yeah, it gives you real life skills. So yeah. I was like, yeah, I think this is the, and it makes you so employable, right? Yeah. So I was like, yeah, you know, this is, this is it. This is what I want to do. But you did your internship, right? Uh, yeah, I worked with Grant Thornton. Okay. Uh, so I worked in the areas of audit. And again, ACCA helped me a lot with this because I did F8, uh, audit and assurance. Yeah. And that gave me a lot of knowledge and a lot of uh, valuable insights that I needed. And that helped me a lot with work as well. Okay. So, yeah. so all the thing that you learn in F8 is connected to your work. Yes, absolutely. So everything that you learn about, like, it, it helps you, you know, you know, professional skepticism. Yeah. That's the first thing you learn in yes, audit, yes. right? And being in the audit, you know, career in the audit world, you need to learn how to be skeptical of a lot yeah. of things. So, you know, looking out for those little things and a lot of, you know, you know, intrinsic ideas is what I learned from F8. For sure. Yeah, that's so. very nice. <laughs> but dancing has also been my passion for ages since I was a little kid. And uh, dancing teaches me a lot. Um, it teaches me something, you know, the importance of perseverance and the importance of hard work. And I think that's something that ACC, of course, teaches you. Because <laughs> when I yeah. joined ACC, I remember I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I finished like 13 papers like, like that. And, you know, it's going to be very easy. And only when I joined, I realized, oh, it involves a lot more. Then, yeah. you know, just it, it involves a lot of hard work for sure yeah. but obviously it pays off so the same link coming back to dance can be established because dancing also involves a lot of hard work and it taught me those virtues it taught me the importance of working hard which i could apply with my acca so. oh that's nice <laughs> so ananya what do you like the most about AC- acca other than the academic part I think it has to be the flexibility of giving exams, yeah. right? Because uh, I could choose between giving a center-based exam and a remote exam. Have you I, experienced it? Oh, yeah, definitely. So I used to give it, uh, give most of my exams in LSAF as yeah. center-based. But, you know, due to COVID, I had to go out of yeah. station. So, and I didn't want to, like, uh, put a pause on my ACCA journey. <laughs> <laughs> so, I uh, gave my exams yeah. remote-based. And it worked out very well, so. But you went to India, if i not wrong. Yeah, yeah. I, I did go to India. And I gave my exams from there. Okay. So, uh, that, that's, again, coming back to your question, that's something I really liked about ACCA. Because I thought, okay, I have to find a center. But I could write it from the piece of my own home there. So That's nice. That's, that's why, guys, if you can't come to Jakarta, you can still do your ACCA exam from LSAF also. So, register now. <laughs> <laughs> Always promoting. Always. <laughs> Always in that mood. <laughs> but how long you took for the diploma and then the bachelor? Yeah, um, so even when I was doing my 11th and 12th grade, I got my diploma in accounting and business within the first six months I joined LSEF. That's nice. Uh, so, yeah, all thanks to the really supportive staff that we had <laughs> here. Or else it wouldn't have been possible because doing true. because AS levels and your 11th and 12th is equally demanding, yeah. of course. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so with LSEF, I managed to get the uh, diploma in six months and uh, the advanced diploma in two and a half years. Okay. 
Now, the ACCA module is uh, very relevant to entrepreneurship. Uh, do you have a plan in the future to build your own business? Oh, certainly. I, I do want to have my own business someday. And I feel like ACCA covers a range of different um, you know, topics and different like elements of a business, especially modules like um, business technology that has uh, cropped up recently. And especially strategic business leader, which comes in your professional papers. Yeah, yeah. So modules like those give you valuable insights into the fields of yeah. business and entrepreneurship. So yeah, I'm sure this would be an asset for Even me. Even all the module are actually relevant to have the own business. Oh, right? definitely, definitely. Yeah, one hundred percent for sure. Yeah. Because uh, the way that the ACC exams are structured is to you know relate to the current world the yeah. current financial scenario the current you know business world yeah that's so true. when you give those exams and when you prepare for them you get so much knowledge and the skills so you get a combination of like you get the best of both worlds yeah right? <laughs> you get both knowledge yeah. and real life skills that's so, true yeah. even all the accounting method and all those stuff it's all applied in the whole Absolutely. world so it's right. like easier for you if you want your business good so international worldwide for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now it's it's my <laughs> turn, Yashna. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, I've been uh, on the hot seat uh, oh. enough. <laughs> so it's um. I want to hear more about your story, your journey. When did wow. LSAF start? <laughs> okay. I I can say that I started same like you. Uh, I started when I was grade ten. Uh, I finished my grade ten, and then I come to know. Because of Sermonish, I think. Sermonish is one church with me. That's how I got to know LSAF. And then I came here and then he told me that, uh, okay, uh, this is your benefit. And the benefit is like very, very, you know, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the first time when I compare, I always wanted to go abroad. Uh, but I don't have that financial situation to go abroad. So Sermonish is like, you can do here and get the certificate from abroad. So it's interesting, right? Yeah. I mean, everyone wants that. You Absolutely. want to graduate from abroad and just studying here with the last finance. Yeah. So uh, compared to all the things uh, in the other university, I feel LSAF is more benefit. There, there has a lot of benefit yeah. in LSAF. Um, so yeah, I think I started when I was 16, same. Uh, it, I had a very uh, difficult time understanding the language at the first time. But then after that, the teacher also helps me with the language. I mean, all the teacher knows uh, how to speak Bahasa. So they uh, explain a little, little bit in Bahasa. So that helps me a lot to pass. So yeah, that's it yeah. actually. And I'm doing uh, FR, which I submitted on June. And this is my second attempt. I hope for the best. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> I tried my best this time. Uh, the first time, maybe I did two at the time. So I couldn't focus on both. So now I'm just doing one and one. So hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's all hope for the best. Yeah. And yeah, I could actually relate a lot with that. Because when I, um, you know, when you said, you know, very important point, you know, the the you know, benefits outweigh yeah. the cost, right? Yeah. It's so cost effective. It's, yeah. You get so much out of this. Exactly. Uh, yeah, when my, my, as you know, coming back to my parents, because as always, parents are always apprehensive. Yes. They want the best for you. Yeah. They were amazed at this because uh, you get a BSc from Oxford Brooks, a That's very true. renowned university yeah. in the UK. And you get an MSc if you like continue with yeah. ACCA. You get an MSc from University oh, of London. London yeah. So these two things are just uh, something that you know my parents were like you know they were all they, for it. They were like yes, go pursue this. Yeah, you know, because the university itself is like the world 
a famous university is not exactly just, yeah. yeah you're getting uh, you're getting a broad education from the comfort of your own you yeah know. exactly we yeah. are close to our families we don't need to have a living cost there Absolutely. it's a very nice yeah and you can study at your own pace as well yeah right? so I think that covers up all with our podcast today. Thank you Ananya for coming. Thank you so much for having me. I had so much fun. Exclusive guys from India to LSA. <laughs> 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 okay guys, for those who are watching, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't joined LSA, join now because you already hear the story. from me and Ananya um so if you want to join just contact us it will be in the description below don't forget to like subscribe and put the notification icon so that you can get notified all the time every time we post a new video thank you so much guys bye see you all